what's going on everybody here is how to level up weapons and rank with spec ops there will be two parts in this video so let's begin the mission to select is defender mount zaya pick any weapon on the wall you want to level up Then buy sentry guns to help you rack up kills. The key is making sure you get those multi-kill bonuses for XPs. Just like Modern Warfare 2019, it's all about the multi-kills. You'll even level up while shopping. And it even works while you are driving. Then, once you reach near the end of wave 6, just kill yourself or die. And then retry. Repeat this grind for three hours and you will end up with this result. I have done this on a double XP day or weekend and the amount of XP's that I got was insane. And yes, all levels, ranks, and unlocks will be carried over to your weapons inventory for multiplayer. It is best that you play this solo so you get all the kills and XP's. If you have a friend, you can start the mission together, then have them leave so you can begin the grind. You can still level up with two players but you will be sharing kills so that will take a little longer. So playing solo is best. For those with no friends, take advantage of this anytime a player quits or times out on you like in this example. There are two things to avoid so you can grind without ending the game. One is not letting a single bomb explode. The game will allow you to retry if a bomb explodes from waves 1 to 3. Many times I was able to retry on wave 4. But if a bomb explodes on wave 5 or 6, the game will automatically kick you to the lobby. In rare occasions, I was able to retry on wave 5 or even wave 6. If you can't make it to the bomb before it explodes, kill yourself with a grenade or let the enemy kill you. The other thing to avoid is do not complete the mission. In other words, don't kill all the enemies on wave 6. Just eliminate most of them for the XP's, then allow the last few enemies to kill you, or kill yourself so you can retry. Going outside of the map to end yourself works too.
That is it. Now, for those who need more in-depth on this, use one sentry to assist you for wave one. For wave two, you can start using two sentries. For wave three, two sentries. For waves four through six, you can use two sentries for one location at a time, or split up the sentries by planting one at each location. Keep in mind that you can only use two sentries at a time. Try to use a third sentry while there are two active, the oldest sentry will be destroyed. In case you're wondering why the kills are so easy for the sentries, is because I used the white SUVs to block some of the pathways. Blocking some of the paths will force many enemies to find alternate routes, which they will end up right into your sentry gun trap as you can see here. The best time to use SUVs to block the paths is at the end of wave 2, so do not destroy the chopper patrolling above. Once you killed all the ground troops, use the time to block some of the paths and entrances with the SUVs. You can find them by going to your map and there are always 4 scattered around. If I am lazy, I'll just use 2. One for C as you can see here by the white truck, the other at the end of tunnel A. Once you are done with the SUVs, time to destroy the chopper. Cluster mines, cruise missiles, and even stealth bombers will work. Jug suits will not work since you are holding the minigun. Sometimes I'll concentrate on defending one location while allowing another location open for enemies to plant the bomb, gather together so I can drop a cruise missile on them to get the multi-kills. One one requesting CAS at this time. Well, that didn't work. No more stealth bomber for me. Make sure to go to this little station to activate the wave early for every wave to earn extra money. And finally, if the game crashes, usually at about 2.5 hours or 150 minutes playing solo, you still get the XPs for your guns and rank you achieved. I say most because there is a small amount of XPs that's being stored and may be deleted if you leave the game or close the app entirely. You can get the remaining XPs by playing any easy mission like low profile or any multiplayer mode to collect the remaining XPs. Once you have completed the mission, all your previous remaining achievements will show up as you can see here. They will be mixed in with other achievements. You can also do this for a gun game as well with the same strategy. Just be prepared for a long show of unlocks once you are done. If 
you are new and would like to know more about this mission, I highly recommend watching my other video, my ultimate guide on earning 3 stars for this mission. It will explain everything. And here is the cheat sheet. Hope this video helps and see you in the next episode.